In the bottom left, it's your blue zerg from Freakin' Freaks! His name is Armani. There we go. Just in time. <laughs> and in the top right, DPG. It's gear. Now, I have no idea why they do these intros so quickly. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't get why, but they do. They're very fast. And... <laughs> it throws me off, honestly. It's, you're like, ah, yes, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna nail these intros, and it's just BANG! Armani, in your face! As Armani does <laughs> scoot on in closer. At least the second one is timed out nicely. At least Cure is easy. <laughs> but yeah, as I said before, Armani... He's gonna need to do something special here. I don't know what, what his current form is in this matchup in TVZ. I haven't really seen enough of him to make that gauge. I know his ZVZ currently is pretty good. And overall, he's been taking some games off some good players. So I wouldn't be surprised if he manages to you know, get a 1-1. I would be surprised if he manages to 2-0. And you know, keep Afrika Freaks or tie them up with DPG. That would be, that would be something. But Cure's TVZ, well, it's just solid. If you think about a Terran who can just do build orders to perfection and, you know, just consistently push micro uh, everything that he needs to control everything as well as he can, it is Cure. He's so good at these timings. He's just, I mean, his TVZ is just, it's, it's really wonderful to watch when he's on form. So I'm excited to see how he does. And of course, the TVZ matchup, as of late, has just been kind of... There's kind of one thing that needs to happen. Um, unless you're going for some aggressive build, it's always going to be this... Uh, racks into the factory, one gas, early third CC, right at that, you know... Right around the three minute mark. Um, and then heading into, you know, bio or mech, whichever one is kind of your flavor at the moment. Uh, but it's Hellions, it's a Reaper. You know, maybe you go a Banshee, maybe you go ra a Raven to help clear up Creep. Um, but usually the Viking also does come out as, ooh, the drone not gonna go down. But Cure microing this very, very well. The Queen will now be out though. Means that the Reaper has to back up. We're gonna wait to see that third CC pop down though, as again, it's just a single gas um, until right around when you wanna take that Starport. Though, I believe Cure did get the second gas a bit earlier than usual, so the Starport goes down first. Oh, actually, yeah, never mind. Here. Uh, not gonna be going for the early 3cc, like we have been seeing. Instead, adding on that starport just a bit earlier, getting into the double factory. We'll have to see if he does go for, end up going for a medevac. Or, actually, this could be Battlecruiser. We'll have to see as soon as the starport finishes what Cure is going to go for, because mind you, there is no third CC on the way for him. What is it going to be? All right, Cloak Banshee is going to be the flavor of the game for Cure. And I, I said this time and time before, Cure's Banshee control is probably my favorite thing to watch of any Terran. I think his ability to control Banshees of any of the, you know, the top Terrans in Korea is just so wonderful. He always gets damaged with them. He manages to keep them alive for later in the game. So I'm very, very excited to see this. Cloak Banshees, a bunch of Hellions available as well to poke in and dive on into that mineral line if it's open. Which, well, looks like Kira's found that opening. Queens are out of position. There are a few links here though, so Kira should probably just back up. No, he's gonna commit in. He says, I want damage. Three workers and two Hellions survive. Not exactly what you'd call entirely worth, but wasn't terrible either. I do apologize if I do sound a bit congested. The pollen early in the morning you're really getting to me. <laughs> but you do have the first Banshee coming across the map now, trying to see what damage you can get done. Well, Armani with those queens actually gonna be able to scout it out immediately. It's very, very nice for the Zerg here, but with the cloak coming down, we'll have to see 
if he can get any damage done. Now, I believe usually the Zerg should have a Spore Crawler in each mineral line at this point. As there it is. Two drones go down. Banshee going to be able to get on out. Armani playing this very, very well, though. Uh, staying safe only loses those five drones so far, and that is acceptable losses if you are a Zerg. You're, you know, that's not something where you're like, oh, no, I lost five drones. How will I ever come back in this game? Uh, it wasn't early enough that <laughs> that was the case. As, oh. Almost two Hellion Snipe there would have been absolutely huge for Armani, but Cure finally going to get that third base finished up and float that on to his, or onto location. But so far, Cloak Banshees, the Hellions, not really getting a lot of damage. They managed to deny a bit of creep. But a lot of drones have stayed alive. Now these Banshees are going to try and fly back on into the main and cancel out this gas mining impossible. But Armani, he's got good eyes. He's looking. <laughs> he sees what's going on and and just pull away the drones. Ooh, that's a cancel. You're able to slow down that fourth by a uh, tiny margin. It's not a lot, it's something though, as Kira still needs to establish his third base and put SCVs onto it. strategy here for Procure, well, it's going to be a plus one one timing. Combat Shields uh, is on the way. Stim is already done. Two medevacs, a tank, another one going to be reinforcing, as well as that army, so he can immediately start up 2-2. Two, two. This is a dangerous push. Procure uh, has a lot of units in. Armani here going for counterattack. We'll be able to clean up the SCVs at the third, but he's going to lose a lot of legs as the Banshees are here. They're ready, and at the same time, Cure is stimming on into that fourth base. That's going to be a cancel. And it's at about an even trade. You deny mining at that third, you kill a lot, you know eight workers, that's really good for the Zerg, but also you don't have your fourth base, which is so important to get up here uh, against the Terran. As soon as that armor finishes, there will also be two Hellbats there, or three Hellbats protecting that tank. Stim in. You're having to pick up though, and Armani defending well and deciding to retake the fourth base that is um, at the, that's some big hits, uh, decides to take the fourth base that is down here in this bottom right position, which will now be scouted. But Armani is still defending well. I don't think any Zerg would be, you know, disappointed with how well they have been doing it, holding back this aggression from Cure. Finally, these Banshees gonna commit on in, get three workers. Don't get the force because the firing is slightly off time. Armani again, shoving him back the attacks. Currently sitting at a healthy 71 workers. Has his plus one done and now has eight. Oh! <laughs> oh, Cure wasn't looking. A massive bailing hit. 14 SCVs go down. That's huge. I mean, here before this, he was at 60 or so workers. He was at 62. That's a healthy amount. You can, you know, you can do a lot with 62 workers. You you are pretty much even in the economy with the Zerg at that point, but he's going to have to rebuild now. He has his 2-2 on the way. Knows about the Mutalist, so we should see uh, those missile turrets pop down if he doesn't already have them, but usually... I think Terrence like to get up an additional one in each base, just to be sure. Well, the push comes out, and Armani dives once again to the third base. This is just playing around this Terran army so well. Wherever the Terran pushes Armani, he is hitting somewhere else. And eight more SCVs go down. Bailing's rolling in, trying to take advantage of here, not paying attention, but good splits there and a pullback. Armani, though is going to take that supply lead. It's mostly in workers though, mind you. Cure still has a massive army that he can push with. And when 2-2 finishes, this bio is going to be a whole lot more dangerous. Mind you, Armani has his own 2-2 on the way, but it's going to be a lot slower. And again, going for this counterattack where the Terran isn't. He says, listen, you're going to kill my fourth. Well, I'm going to kill your third. You will never be allowed to get this base up. Not in a million years. And that's a dead CC. Armani doing so good with these counterattacks. Sure, he loses the fourth. But he's retaken that one. He has a fifth base that's been mining for a while. 
And now Armani is setting up a plank. He's setting up an attack at two sides against this Terran army. He's gonna try and clean it up. He's gonna try and end the game here. He can't push anymore. Nice Bailing connection. Sure, he doesn't know about this flank. It's actually from three sides. This is almost a full 360. Armani's going in. Armani, he's gonna try and clean it up. Bailings roll in from every side. Tanks are gonna get focused down. Tanks are going to die. Marines explode in a ball of acid. More Marines coming in for support though, and all of the Baileys got cleaned up. Cure, that 2-2 bio still alive. Tank is coming in support. Armani, he tried to pull the trigger and he, he didn't clear up enough. Cure can still push. It felt like Armani there might've killed enough, but no. Cure is still alive. Cure is still able to push across this map. He's on two bases. He is all in at this point, but it is 2-2 bio that is going to try and end this game. Bailings have been rebuilt, however. Armani is going to have a lot of links here to try and hold this once more. He's gonna actually roll on in early. Not even waiting some good Bailing connections, but the splits are there. Armani trying to clean it up. Bailings rolling through, good connections. The Marines are almost all dead, but where is the next wave from Kira? He's not going to end here. He needs to try and finish off this game. He can't wait. The drones are pulled. The Lings as well trying to fight. It's not enough Kira. In the top left, it's all dependent on this man. His name is Armani. And look at that beautiful overlord taking the spotlight. <laughs> Bottom right, from DPG, it's Cure. Can we go back to that overlord? <laughs> Armani's overlord was just like, I'm the center of attention. Pay attention to me. I matter. And he's right. Overlords matter. We should give more credit to them. Overlords, they don't do anything. They sit around, they float around during these games. They're not, you know, being microed, having action across the map, no. They sit around and they wait for the Zerg to, you know, maybe lose them, maybe they die. You know, give credits to Overlords. They are the most committed Zerg units that there are. Queens, yeah, I mean, sure, Queens, you know, they, they inject larva, sure they spread creep, but Overlords, man. Overlords have feelings too. They are... <laughs> what am I? Uh... But with that being said, onto map two. Armani. He's gotta win this, and that's a scary situation to be in against a player such as Cure. We saw good... I mean, the thing is though, Cure's play, it wasn't especially clean in the last game. Like, if you look at it just in a vacuum, uh, that game alone, it really felt like Armani was the one that was making the right moves. Cure was kind of getting shut down at a lot of points. He was trying to push out, and then he would immediately get counterattacked. His push would get cleaned up, and it, he only was able to make it work with that last push. It was enough. Like, that push was what he was banking on anyway. But had that not worked out, had Armani been able to defend one more time, he got enough damage across the map that, you know... He, he would have won the game, but I think it came down to the fact that Armani maybe committed a bit too many Banelings, a bit too much money to killing those bases. Um, you know, when you do commit Banelings like that, you know, to uh, trying to kill a Terran, or trying to kill SCVs, it can cost you quite a bit. And you might not have enough on the other end to defend the push, and that's what we saw happen there at the end. And we'll have to see uh, what Kier does. Again, he's going to be going for the early second gas. This is... Um, kind of indicative that he, once again, wants to go most likely into Banshees, perhaps battle cruisers, but some sort of earlier starport tech, and actually Cure here. Oh, he, is he gonna get two? No, Miss Micros it slightly. Doesn't lose the Reaper, but could have gotten three Zerglings there, and that would have been, you know, uh, I don't want to say that would have been GG, but three Zerglings early on with the Reaper? You know, it's, uh, it's something. <laughs> you don't usually see those Zerglings lost. But it is indeed the early starport, so... Here, even though that game, you know, the early starboard didn't get him a lot of advantages. He's gonna go for it again. Feels more comfortable with it on this map. Uh, excuse me.
And it does look like this is probably going to be Cloaked Banshee once again, I would imagine. You don't see the immediate fusion core, so... Indeed, with here switching those over, Cloaked is started up, Banshee on the way. Here, just liking this opening. It's And it's something that he is comfortable with, it's something that he's done a lot. So, I'm not at all surprised that this is what he's deciding to go in this matchup where, hey, if I if I win 2-0, well, that's, you know, my team wins, I can you know, go to bed and, uh, you know, there's no real pressure on Zest to, to win his match, although I'm sure Zest, you know, Zest being best will try his dar darndest to bring out some interesting strategies to win, but... Cure. Playing it safe, and I can't say that I mind that third CC is going to go down about you know a minute later than it does with the faster three CC with the faster one gas three CC build, um, but it's not as terribly late as it was last game. You also see that first Banshee heading across the map. Sport Crawler is already on the way. Armani didn't even need to scout; it's just for safety. You usually get them up in this matchup. Two more barracks and. Here, once again, starting up that stim, going to be looking for, um, as that third CC lands, uh, going to be looking for that 1-1 one, one push. Banshee going to fly on in and can actually abuse his position here above the third base. It's a nice little spot. Only gets one drone kill so far. Hellions shoved away by the Queens, and Kira, once again, not getting a lot of damage done with these Banshees. Armani's early defense is honestly very, very good. Very solid. And Cure hasn't, in both these games, hasn't been able to find a lot of damage. In the last game, it was five or seven workers. This game, it's been one. Cure hasn't been able to dive in with the Hellions. He's, you know, he can clear up creep here, which is, of course, very, very valuable, but... Armani has been unharassed um, on the worker front as these two Banshees flying around. Gonna see what they get done. You know, melee snipe off three drones and that's obviously very nice with both of them getting out, but Cure does not see the Spire. Uh, which is pretty massive there, that Spire. You know, it is of course Armani's preferred style, so Cure might already expect it, just kind of seeing how many queens there are, seeing the gas and um, especially seeing that gas on the third base when he does poke in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cure already knows. You do see Widow Mine starting up instead of a tank, so this follow-up push from Cure is just going to be slightly different in the case that the Widow Mines are going to be supporting the 1-1 Marines instead of two tanks. And the Widow Mines, they do have the chance of getting more damage done. They also have the chance of, you know, doing more damage to you and completely destroying the, uh, you know, <laughs> the Terran army. I'm not sure what that was, uh, but lots of uh, hot keys being pressed. Maybe a key stuck from the observer. Of course, massive shout out to the observers that do observe this. They do a wonderful job of it. As this push is going to come out, 1-1 is very close to finishing up. There is you know, there's quite a few Hellions actually available, but I think the Banshees on the other side of the map are actually managing to kill a few Queens. And Armani, what does he have to defend this? Well, the Banelings aren't out yet. The Mutalists aren't out yet. Here, just stimming in with a bunch of scans to try and clean up all this creep. I mean, it's going to be so much harder for Armani to try and collapse on him when the time comes. But a Banshee goes down. No Queens do end up dying. But here it is. 1-1. One, one. Bio. Widow Mines as well. This small force is going to see how much damage he can get done onto this fourth base. However, you know, once again, it doesn't feel like there's enough here for Cure to cancel like he did in the last game. Armani... Able to defend well, but the Banelin connection is not the best. We'll have to see if this mind drag is good. It is! Kira has to pick up, and now Mutalist trying to fly on into the natural base. There's already Marines here, though. Let's see what they can do to get worker kills. Focusing down the refinery. Do not finish it off, though. And on both sides of the map, both players trying to commit in. Neither of them really getting damage done. Kira, though, he's still here. He's still trying to stim on in. No Widow Mines, though, available. Never mind. That one just popped back up, and a great hit from it. And now Cure, he's gonna do this with the second stage. The armory is done, he has Cloak on the Widow Mines, he has Hellbats as well that can absorb Baneling hits at the front. This is a whole lot more dangerous than now. Armani, he's gotta hold on, but he's down in army supply, about 20. A lot of Baneling's being warped in, the Mutalists are gonna be brought back. This fourth base 
It needs to survive. The Banelings, they need to finish up before Armani can commit in, but it, I don't know if he has the time. He has to commit in with a small force first. The pre-split here from Cure is absolutely splendid as the Mutilant's trying to micro against it. Armani rolling in, gets some great connections. The mind drags are good. And Armani cleans it up. Gonna be able to chase it all down as well with the Mutilus. Not with the reinforcements coming here, but the fourth base survives, and that is crucial here for Armani. Last game, that was killed. That was shut down. Now he's gonna be able to mine from it, as he also has a fifth base on the way. Armani's defense this game, super solid, and that's given him a 20 supply advantage. He's going to be... I'd like to see him saturating that third ba fourth base, as we do see finally. Drones being put back onto it. But now the next stage is the 2-2 push. Cure. <laughs> He's not going to stop there. He has more Widow Mines. He has now Thors that are being produced. 2-2 for his bio and Drilling Claws on the way. Again. The next stage for Terrans is diving onto that missile turret. The repair is good. A lot of SCVs will go down. But, but Armani cannot commit in. And this large block of Eagles can actually fight these Marines. So Cure... Not actually going to be able to clean them up in the main base. Has a small force waiting for them outside. Armani has to be careful here. That's managed to maneuver it well. Oh! I didn't even see those Widow Mines. Three of them just go off and... Well, that's a pretty big loss. You usually don't want to lose your Mulus that early. One more going down as well to Stin Bio. Armani taking a few more losses than you would usually like. Trying to snipe off these medivacs. We'll lose a Mutalisk for it, but you know, a reduction on the healing veil for this army. Spaining run by does have to be canceled as Cure scouts it out. And with that fourth base coming up, Cure has the 2 2 available for this push. He's going to be trying to hit on two fronts, trying to split Armani apart. We'll have to see if it works. We'll have to see if it gets enough damage done. But here comes Armani with a counterattack once again, trying to strike where the Terran isn't. Some good connections and the Zerglings now able to run through. But there's the stim on top of the fifth base. That's going to be cleaned up at the same time. On the left side, the army gets swallowed by Ling Bane. Ooh, the Mutalists are committing in too far. The Mutalists aren't being microed. There's a few more they need to do. And now this push going on to the fourth base. Widowmine's going off. Seven drones do end up dying. But now the commit back in. There's not enough the Nenevac to pick everything up. But Cure taking some great trades here. Still has the Thors available. Still has the fourth base flying onto location. Cleaned up the counterattack on the other side. And now also again at the same time pushing on into the fourth base. Recognize, listen, your whole army is elsewhere. I need to try and leverage this position. And Cure doing a wonderful job at slowing down Armani now. At an equal base count. Means that this Zerg is going to start to be outgrown again. The upgrades are already in favor of the Terran. Well, it's about to get even worse as, yeah, the Medivacs can't really afford to pick up that Thor. It's going to get focused down. A nice pickup, but there's another one already available for Cure. At this point, as the Zerg, you've been kept to four bases. There's no real additional tech. Armani has to try and, you know, win a decisive fight with this Lingbane Muta. He's trying to get into the, the, the Hive, and he will eventually be able to get up Hive Tech, but it's not going to be for a while, and you know, losing these few units here and there just means that he has to spend more money and more gas rebuilding them. And when it comes to being maxed out versus being maxed out, Lingbane Muta, it trades well, but into Thor's Widow Mines 3-3 Bio, it does not do as well as you need. These Mutalists and getting some nice worker kills. Seven going down. Ooh, Armani committing here. The Banelings are not with the rest of his army. That could be disastrous. That is a massive mine hit. And there are still SCVs going down the other side. Armani is keeping Cure busy. But losing all those Banelings, losing all those Lings, that now means that Cure can push forward with that small force. He can cancel the fifth once again. He's not going to commit, though. Here decides not to go in until he has it set up on two fronts. Takes a good trade there. Ainlings just exploding against Marauders. He'll take that every day of the week as a Terran. 
Otters are beefy boys. Takes a few bait hits to kill them. These Mutilists still trying to see what they can get done. Ling's committing onto the third. They are going to get pushed away. And now that push onto the fourth base, or the fifth base, will be able to immediately get the cancel. Cure is playing this absolutely wonderfully. Boost on up into the main base at the same time. Has two additional armies out on the map. One defending, and now two converging on the bottom left side. And they're going to be trying to push down the fourth and small marine group on the right. Tries to push into that. Or the third is the small marine group tries to push into the fourth. Here, just taking great trades across every single side. The main base hasn't been cleaned up. He's still stimming on in to that. Or to that third. It gets cleaned up finally. But bailings have been lost. This force hasn't been cleaned up in the bottom left. Here, picking Armani apart. The Ling Bane not able to trade in the long run versus his 3-3 bio. GG, Cure gonna get DPG the 4-0 victory.